welcome back. Get ready to embark on another journey on the road less traveled. In this episode, we're trading pine scented air for salty breezes, learning to make donuts, and adding a sprinkle of Mojave magic to the mix. We set off down the mountain while enjoying some off road fun. back to the pavement. Shortly after getting back onto the road, we saw this beautiful lake surrounded by high pine trees and fall colors. Knowing we had a long drive ahead of us, we quickly got back onto the road. Our drive took us through the tall pine tree forest and into the rolling golden fields of California as we continued towards the coast. After some rough and tumble off-roading and four long days heading towards California, we decided to treat ourselves to a bit of luxury and got a hotel for a few days. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the joy of a hot shower after days on the road. On last summer's adventures, we found Rock and Roll Donut Bar, which is not your ordinary donuts. We struck up a friendship with the owners, and when the chance to become donut apprentices knocked, we answered. Where are we going today? Rock and roll donuts. What are we going to do today? Make donuts. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do it all from preparing the dough. As you can see, I don't know what I'm doing with that proofing. Cutting the donuts into squares and other fun shapes. Taking out frustrations while making berry fritters. To frying them up. Check out these super cute and huge turtle donuts that they make for the Monterey Aquarium. Those berry fritters were so good and you can see I made them way too big. From frying to decorating, I had the chance to learn how to make delicious donuts from start to finish. We also found time to have great conversations about life and the donut world. We'd also like to thank Scott and everyone at Rock and Roll Donuts for the opportunity. Now, if only I could replicate those mouth-watering delights at home, Chris would be one happy husband. After a day of culinary wonders, we wandered along the coast soaking in the serenity of the ocean, relaxing by the ocean and enjoying the natural beauty. It was a perfect few days of relaxing before we started heading east and hitting the trails again.
We bid farewell to the waves and said hello to the desert vibes. Eastward bound, our next stop was supposed to be Jean, Nevada. Hitting the pavement again, we came upon a crazy backup and found them putting out a fire from a semi-trailer. Thank goodness it was heading west, but it still made for some traffic jams that we had to work around. adventurous souls, but not just for dirt roads. We have a soft spot for the peculiar too. Picture this, a quirky space building and even quirkier things behind it, Alien Jerky Company. Even though we didn't eat the jerky, we couldn't resist checking out the extraterrestrial offerings they had. The gift shop was a treasure trove and we snagged a few goodies. Oh, and get this, they're cooking up plans for a UFO hotel. We just might need to book a room ahead of time, just in case there's a close encounter. With the sun dipping below the horizon, it was time to scout out the perfect campsite. We got out our maps and started scoping out the surrounding area of Baker, California, and we found some BLM land in the Mojave Desert. As we made our way to the first spot that we thought might work out, we found that the road was closed from the flooding that had occurred there. We quickly turned around and headed towards another area. Originally, we had set for Jean, Nevada, but hey, plans change all the time on the road, right? And honestly, we weren't keen on fumbling around in the dark again for a camp spot. We found some more road close signs, but we kept driving, hoping for the best. Maybe we could at least get a little bit down the road and find a spot since it was starting to get so dark. And we actually found a little hidden gem nestled among the rock formations. And it appeared as we were the only people around in this vast Mojave desert. We could see lights off in the distance from the freeway. And they were so far away that it looked like they were snails driving down the road. And it made for some beautiful scenery as the sun went down. And the most quiet and peaceful night we had had on the trip so far. After a bit of strategic maneuvering, Chris skillfully leveled up our setup just in time for us to witness the mesmerizing sunset. 
The Mojave Desert enveloped us in serene stillness, prompting us to unfold our camp chairs and relish a tranquil moment before retiring to our tent for the night. Stay tuned for the next video where we enjoy the trails in the vast Mojave Desert all by ourselves. We explore Halloran Springs. We had to check it out. We cruise through Las Vegas to get some of our favorite vegan food. And then we catch the eclipse near Riverside, Nevada. Buckle up and stay tuned for more off-road tales because remember, life's a journey. Might as well make it an epic one. See you next time.